Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, you know the routine. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Now, as I promised you, we will have Wednesdays with Yaya. And today we have my beautiful wife, Yaya. Hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm good. I'm okay, good. Okay. How are you? I'm great. How was your day? It was productive. Not good? It was, it was, it was productive. Productive. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Well, I'm yeah. glad you're joining me. You kept, you held your word, kept your word. It's Wednesday, and you're here? Yes. I was concerned if you are going to show up. Why? <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> we won't go there. So, uh, you're here. That's the main thing. So, thank you. You're welcome. Now, yesterday, I uploaded a video, created and uploaded a video titled... Yeah, what did I title it? I titled it, uh, When You Let Her Choose, You Can't Lose. Now, uh, there's two sides to that dynamic in that relationship. One of them is the first, letting her choose, right? Uh, and then there's the selection process. So this topic is, should you select her, right? Just because she chooses you doesn't mean you have to select her, right? You don't have to, you don't have to take anything that comes your way. Right. Keyword anything. She have standards, qualities uh, that a person must have, principles a person must have, uh, a look. If you're into a certain look, that's cool. Uh, scruples, main thing. Uh, yeah, beliefs, standards. So, uh, yeah, should you select her? Now, I do believe a man should only select. Who chooses him? Okay. Right? Right. Does it make sense? He doesn't have to select anyone that chooses him, but only choose only select who chooses you. Right. Don't go outside of that 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 pool right. of people that are not choosing you. Because in that case, you're choosing them. You're chasing them. Exactly. And uh I'm telling you, man, anytime you choose a woman. It hasn't chosen you first, man. You're gonna have headaches. You're gonna have headaches and you're gonna be putting up with a lot of BS because she's just not into you like that. Right? So true. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so this that is coming from uh, back memory. Sorry this, about that. this coming from a woman. <laughs> okay, so let's go let's go into it. And I won't touch on yesterday too much, but did you agree? with the premise and the topic and my takes yesterday with if you let her when you let her choose you can't lose speaking to men i totally agree 100 percent. i had to reflect on some things and some relationships in the past and that makes sense um yeah i didn't understand it when you when you first mentioned that to me but All right it makes a whole whole lot of sense now. Right, right. Um, when the guy chose me, or guys, mm -hmm. the relationships were were terrible. Right. There was a lot missing. There was there was boredom. Um, I found myself just just. Not even understanding the reason for the relationship. Really, you, you were settling. Re I really was. Okay, okay. So it's not good if the man likes the woman more than the woman likes the man. Right. Yeah, that's not good. No. And you know what's crazy? When you, I just thought of this. When you think back when we were young, those cartoons, Charlie Brown, uh. There's a few others too, where the girl always pursued the boy, like the boy more than the boy like the girl a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I guess they would try to send a message. 
But uh, indirectly, huh? indirectly, yeah. I mean, we're kids, so it couldn't just be direct like that. But uh, so in the relationships where the man liked you more than you liked him, you're saying it was horrible. Yes, he knew why he wanted me. Right, and I allowed their door to be open. But once I got involved, I realized there were so many things that he didn't provide me. Right. So I always looked like the, the complainer because I, I was just, I was frustrated. I didn't realize mm -hmm. that I wasn't happy with this particular dude. I just was frustrated. So why did you connect with the dude in the first place? <laughs> like, look at me like that. <laughs> hey, we well, been straight up, right? Why did you connect with the dude anyway? Well, it's, it's as weird as weird as it sounds. So, although I didn't choose him, someone may have introduced us or or told me about him, and then I took my attention and just started trying to. Make it put, work. Make, make it work. Put some pieces in there. Put some things in there that I may like. Right. You know. Right. Whether it was... Uh, you go make a man. I, okay. I mean, I'm I, just... I, women do that. I said, I'm, so I'm going to ignore these things that I don't really care for. You mm -hmm. know, but he made a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. And... Um, well, now, when you say a little bit of money, that's oxymoron. It he, is. He made a lot of money. So you settled. I did. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And so I said, well, instead of instead of falling in love with him, I could just enjoy these gifts and okay. pretend like I'm happy. And it'll be good enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. No judgment. Listen, it happens. It happens. Not, not, more not so, on camera. This conversation is going to come back up. No, more so. <laughs> oh, we, we talked about this before. We have. Yeah. So more so than not, it happens. Uh, now, today, should you select her? Now, like I said, a woman must hurt, have certain type of principles, a set of principles, standards, morals, um, to to be selected. Just because she chooses doesn't mean you select her. But stay in the pool of women who choose you. Don't force the issue choosing a woman or selecting a woman mm -hmm. that is not into you, that has not chose you, meaning made herself available to you, made herself available to your presence. All right? Don't, so, don't do it. Now, the way we met, keep that thought, but the way we met, I think it fit right into that mold. It does. Right? Um... So I give you a brief background. Uh, I was coming out my entrepreneur thing after three years, getting back into IT. The first job I got back in IT uh, was with the company she's with, and uh, you know I don't know. First week there for some reason I, I kind of befriended this guy that had been there for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just call him V. We we. I mean, he had a, a great personality, man. Uh, extrovert for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm a, I'm an introvert, but this guy was an extrovert, and I really get along with extroverts for some reason. And he enjoyed playing the matchmaker. Right, he was known <laughs> to play the matchmaker, but he and I had never had a discussion about me uh, wanting a woman or trying to get with a woman. You know, typically when I go to work in any business form. Uh, I, I don't I don't uh, fraternize, you know, with the women or anything like that. It's strictly business. But for some reason, you know, this guy, I think he asked me, was I single? I said, yeah. And uh, that was it. And this guy goes into trying to match me with women. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, we had never had a discussion right. about this. He just goes into matching me with women. And one day he comes up. He's like, hey, man, I got I got one for you. 
Go check her out, man. Go check out this this girl that works on the first floor in the bank in our building, man. Go check her out. Man, she's nice. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh keep in mind, she didn't choose me. He's wanted me to check her out. Right. Right? So even though I'm checking her out, going to check her out, and she doesn't know about me. She still can choose. She still has the opportunity to choose, mm -hmm. depending on the way I play it, right? So I go down to the first first floor, go to the bank, and I'm acting like I want to start a bank account, or I'm inquiring about different bank accounts. Uh, she wasn't educated on the plans, and I think she had been there for a while. Mm -hmm. You know her, right? Yes. I think she had been there for a while, so she wasn't real educated on the banking plans they had to offer. Uh, she wasn't really customer service friendly. And uh, she had like a scowl on her face, you know. Uh, but she was like that before me, mm -hmm. before, like that was just the way she was. Right. right. I think you said you weren't even greeted with a smile. Yeah, she didn't greet with a smile when I walked in. And now I'm not trying to holler at her. I'm just a customer. Right. So she should greet with a smile. So I didn't like that. And she wasn't educated on her job. I didn't like that. And, uh, you know, she, she was all right looking. Probably could have been cuter if uh, she smiled more, maybe. Right. Not sure. But uh, anyway, you know, I head back upstairs. I'm like, nah, man, that, that, that ain't my type. <clears throat> you know, I like a, I like a friendly feminine woman, you know, uh, a kind woman. And I'm friendly with everybody, but just even in business, mm -hmm. at least give a smile in business, mm -hmm. on a business transaction, and you're in the mm -hmm. customer service business. So I was like, nah, that that, that told me a lot about her. Mm -hmm. I said, nah, V, that ain't the one. So uh, fast forward, he comes back to me. <laughs> he goes, hey, man, I got this other one. You know, man, she she uh she asked about you, right? And uh he go check her out. I said, okay. I said, you know, where, where did she sit? Uh she he told me where she sat. And uh I said, well, I'll check her out. So I was just gonna do a walk by. Just walk by, look over in a, her, her office, a cubicle, and just see, you know, check her out, see how she looked. And uh <laughs> so I was like, I did a walk by. So I was like, okay, all right. She's nice. It was her, right? <laughs> <laughs> she asked him about me. So like yesterday, what I told you fellas, the woman will notice you before you notice her. I had never noticed her, but she noticed me. So I did a walk by. So okay, she fits the, she fits, you know, uh, she passes that. She gets to check on the look, the surface part, right? So uh, I think I came back later that day. And, you know, I don't like people in my business. And like I said, typically, I don't really fraternize at work like that. So, gave one of my business cards, where, but introduced myself. And uh, she stands up. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay. So, okay. Get a good glance at the box. So, okay. So, I was like, hey, let's talk tonight. And I gave her a business card. And I tried to shoot out real quick. You didn't even say, let's talk tonight. You wrote call me tonight on the back of the card. Right, right. So you slid the card in. Because I didn't want your neighbors right. to be all in my business. You were in and but, out so fast. But the neighbor did right. hear me over mm -hmm. and she scrolled her, her mm -hmm. uh, seat back mm -hmm. and looking at me. I was like, oh man, see? Yeah, that's what I don't want. Right. And so anyway, I head out. And so... Uh, we started courting, and I'm, I mean, actually courting, not dating, courting. Mm -hmm. And so fast forward, right? Before I left there, because um, I didn't stay there long. Before I left there, this white woman <laughs> uh, sees me getting on the elevator. And she comes to me, and you knew the white woman, turns out. And she comes up to me, and she's like, are you single? I'm like, damn, what the hell's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm single. And mm -hmm. she's like, I have the perfect girl for you. The perfect girl. So she tells me her name. She ends up being one of your coworkers. Right. Anyway, she tells me her name. 
So she's like, I got to introduce y'all. So anyway, me and the girl never meet because at that time, because uh, I wasn't at that company long, man. It took me a time, some time to get back in the groove of working with someone. So it, long story. But anyway, I end up running into that girl, the white woman who hooked me up with at our wedding shower. Mm -hmm. That was your coworker. Mm -hmm. And you introduced me to her. So the white woman had told me her name. So when you told me her name in introduction, I'll go, oh, oh this that's, is that's the one the white woman wanted to hook me up with. Right. And I was like, I was like, nah, I told you later. I was like, nah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. You know, cute girl, nice shape, but I could tell immediately like she smokes either blacks or, 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 or black and miles or cigarettes. And I was like, nah, that, that won't work, you know. I, I don't like women, like I don't dig women like that that smoke. So like that smoke cigarettes, mm -hmm. you know. It's the smell of cigarettes uh that get to me, or, or cheap black and miles that get to me. Um so I was like, nah, that that wouldn't work. So going back, should you select her? So man, you you gotta uh has some uh, some standards, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and uh, what you want, what you saw in that story I told you, I had my picks, right? Mm -hmm. That's not bragging or anything, but a man should have his picks and have a selection of women who he can compare and see what's compatible to him. Not compared to each other, but compared what's going to be compatible to him. And that's going to differ with each man. What's right. compatible to me mm -hmm. may not be compatible to you. And you may not have a problem with a woman smoking cigarettes or the smell of it. Uh, you know, you may not have a problem with a woman not knowing her job and not smiling and, gr and greeting. And she's in the customer service business. Mm -hmm. You may not have a problem with that. Uh, but I have a problem with that. So there's no reason for me to even connect with that type of woman. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's just what it is. Yeah. So in selection, select within that pool of the women that are choosing you. Right? And I think you kind of already knew, even though the woman is supposed to select the man. Or choose. Choose. Uh -huh. Choose the man. You already know, like some of the initial things that are important to you, so you didn't even have to spend a whole lot of time, right? You know, after the introduction, getting to know her or finding out, like the girl at the bank, for right. instance, she didn't smile, but right. how did you know that she could have been a, a, a nice person? But the initial feeling that you got, right. well, presentation it's not even just a feeling, presentation is everything, and it tells me how serious. Uh, and how professionally she takes her job. Mm -hmm. She's she's a she's a teller at a bank, right? That's customer service, right? I'm coming in to inquire about banking plans, right? You should greet me with a smile. Mm -hmm. So that, even if there's nothing else that stands out about her, yeah, that you should, smile, right? You should greet me with a smile, right? Smile, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then she wasn't real versed on the banking plans at her job. And, you know, V, he had already told me she'd been there a while. Mm -hmm. But she's, you know, mumbling and stumbling over the plan and has to go pick up a flyer and, and read it herself. Mm -hmm. you no, know, you should be able to hand me the flyer, the pamphlet, <clears throat> and you could speak on it without even reading. Right. If you've been there a while. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that stood out. Mm -hmm. Now, when it came to me and you, you know, I didn't say I fully selected you, even though you chose, I didn't fully select you. That's why we courted. Right. Because we didn't have a conversation in the beginning. No, but I'm, I'm listening. That's the reason for courting, fellas. Uh, we would meet uh, every day, Monday through Friday, in the uh, lunchroom. At 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock. It was, it was <laughs> shut down, basically. But you could still access it, but it was shut down. Mm -hmm. And we would just meet, just us. We would be the only ones in there. And we just talk, just converse, chop it up, uh, get to know one another. Uh, you get a, you get a, a uh, an idea, you get to gauge mm -hmm. how a person thinks, and uh, get to learn about their history. Uh, then from their history, you can tell a lot about their decision making. 
So we courted for about a, a few weeks, a month. Mm -hmm. So a few weeks. yeah, yes. fellas, no money was spent. Uh, no dates, no dinner. Uh, but we did that for two weeks, I think, and then after that, you left. Yeah. So we took advantage of those two weeks right. of uh, meeting each other at 2 p.m. Then after that, you were gone. Right, right. And, and you got to learn a lot about yourself from past relationships, too, fellas, to know who to select. Um, can you get it right on the first swing? Mm -hmm. It can possibly happen. Um, but, uh, you know, in this time and day, not typically, you know, uh, I knew just from past relationships, I wanted to, on a serious level, connect with a woman who grew up with the father. You said that. Yeah. yeah. So that was a check, you know, she got, she grew up with her father. The father was in the home, uh, because I, and I won't go deep into this. That's another topic. But I had noticed some things in the women I dated before that uh, did not grow up with the father. And I knew the differences, mm -hmm. uh, how they relate to men, mm -hmm. how they interact with men, how they communicate with men. And not just any father. They had to be a sound, strong father mm -hmm. they grew up with. And so I was like, man, I can't connect with those type of women anymore. Now, having said that, can a woman redeem herself? Who didn't? Can she? Can she still be a woman that's worth your selection? That was gonna be my next. Question. Yeah, that if she didn't grow up with the father, mm -hmm. she can, but she's gonna have to do a lot of self uh, analyzing, a lot of self searching, and she gotta realize that. And I'm talking about the woman I would have selected that didn't grow up with the father. Right. She had to have realized that hey, she missed out on a lot not having a father. And mm -hmm. Some changes she needed to make. Right. And, and her mentality and her thinking, mm -hmm. because she did not grow up with the father, she had to recognize that and be accountable that, hey, I did miss out on this and this needs to change. Right. And you can learn that from conversation right. if she's accountable. Yeah, if she's reflective and accountable, you can learn that from conversation. Uh, if she does any uh, self-analyzing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, man, you just got to listen, be patient uh, before you make a selection. But... Uh, the main thing is, above all that, man, focus on your gifts and talents, man. Focus on working. When a woman uh, encounters you, you should be about your business. Like, you should be working uh, independently, uh, doing an entrepreneur thing, wh whatever you're doing, your nine to five. Mm -hmm. But you should be about your business. And you should be about, uh, and if that does it, if it's a nine to five, you also should be about your business of uh, honing your God-given gifts and talents and pursuing that, aligning with, aligning, uh, aligning with your purpose. Uh, that's how she should encounter you. And she's going to be used to you being about your business because that's how you she met you, Right. <laughs> being about your business. There's uh, nothing more that turns me off than even though the woman, the woman selects the man, but chooses the man, chooses the man, chooses, chooses, right. chooses the man. Right. If he responds like, you know, a kid in a candy store, mm. like he's just been sitting waiting and and uh, over appreciative, <laughs> right? It's, it's overexcited. It's, he puts why? her on this this yes. huge, yeah, this pedestal. Yes. Yeah. It's more of a turn on, and and like you said, you have to be the guy has to be focused on his his gifts. Right. And it didn't matter to you whether we were introduced or not. Right. You were focused on some other things. Yeah, I've got but, some other things going on. Right. So uh, I was willing to uh, get to know you. Right. But if something came from it or not, it was okay. Right. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So did so me being that way. Um, uh, not saying nonchalant. I guess you could use that word, but me being open and fluid to it going working or not working, something coming from it, or not coming from it. Does that humble a woman to say, "Damn, this dude, he he uh, he ain't thirsty." 
Um, it can, yes. That right. now, in in our case, there wasn't really much of an opportunity for me to see that mm -hmm. because everything happened so fast. But um, I did like that you didn't come across as thirsty right. and desperate. So well, even after courting, we dated for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we dated for a while. But in that initial mm -hmm. early part, you know, I knew there was going to be something about you that I'd have to work hard for. Yeah. And I was okay with that. Okay. Okay. I, I, I didn't get the initial feeling that it was going to be, it was going to come to me easy. Right. You had to earn mm -hmm. my, my time, mm -hmm. my energy, my resources, my money. You had to earn it. You don't, you wasn't going to just get it right. because you were pretty. Right. But I knew you ain't got to hold your mouth like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, cause a lot of women, a lot of women feel entitled to a man's resources mm -hmm. when they put themselves on a pedestal to a man's resources. And I say resources, his time, his energy, his money, because they feel like they're pretty or they're sexy or they got the WAP or right. whatever. And none of that to a real man, I almost said a real G, a real man that knows himself and that is comfortable, that's comfortable in his own skin. Mm -hmm. He doesn't fall for that. But you and I have always said it was all about the timing. Had it mm -hmm. been one or two seconds off, right? that could have been a missed opportunity because everything was happening so fast. You dashed in, you dashed out, you put the note on the card, gave it to me, left. Right. You know, there was not much time to play around. We didn't know that, but right. we, you know, we just didn't, we didn't take that for granted. Right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go into why I selected you. That's another video. But the main purpose of this video was to uh, determine if you should select her. You know, what I will select, you probably won't select and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got to be true to yourself. Know yourself. Look deep within your past. Learn from your mistakes. And you got to decide, like, figure out what do you want? What do you want? What compliments you? Right. What adds value to you? Right? And you can't be insecure and looking for something that's going to make you whole. You got to, mm -hmm. uh, what what makes you more robust as a human being, as a man in this world? Right? So that's that's my take on it. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to add? No, I just want, well, I just want to say, you know, women be, be okay and secure in yourself, even if he doesn't respond to your selection. All right. If he doesn't select <laughs> you, but, but, but she's choosing, but he's not selecting her. Right. Yeah. I mean, because, I mean, that's a whole nother topic because women deal with rejection worse than men. Right, we take it, oh, take it women, too far. So. Well, women hate rejection, and that's a whole different topic, but I but touch on it. don't even look at it as rejection because you haven't even, what are you rejecting? You don't even know what you're rejecting. You haven't gotten a chance to, to really know the person. Well, there's certain things that she may not have that he needs, that he's right. like, no, that's not the one, just in my case. So there's certain things, but she mm -hmm. shouldn't take it so personal because there is a guy out there that you bring value to, mm -hmm. right? You bring value to. So, hey, you got to love who loves you, right? Right. So, yeah, that's another topic too. On. I know. That rejection. <laughs> women hate rejection, yes. and it stems from childhood. Okay, just put a colon right there. Y'all are not colon. used to rejection. Boys are rejected right. at a young age. We are just listen. listen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all deal with rejection pretty badly. That's another good one. So, yeah, yeah. So. That's it. Just our take on it. Wednesdays with Yaya. Thanks for joining us. Joining us. Thank As you. always, love. Peace. Peace. Bartender. Yeah, let me get a, get a double shot of that uh, Boston Yankee. No rocks, no chasing, baby.